Hello everyone, are you ready for another adventure? It's me, Loki, and I'm back with another Fake Grand Order video. Uh, today I'm going to be doing, um, not any grinding, even though I have been grinding, still grinding. They're currently in first place still, if you want to see my current progress of Team Desert Beauty from my side. I think I can show it right here, no, it was in the other place. There you go. I've got, they have 590 chip points for me, and I'll keep doing some more into the night, just to give them some more. Anyway, today I'm going to be reading the, doing the beauty contest stuff. I haven't done any of the story stuff, but I figure, I don't think I ever did this one last year, so I'm going to do it this year. So that's going to be today's video. I hope you like it. If you do, remember to leave a like. A lot of people have been leaving likes on my Fleet Grand Order stuff, which makes me very happy because it helps my channel out and it shows that you guys are actually liking what I'm doing. So, uh, I doubt anyone's going to like this because I don't have very many good voices. So anyway... To sum up, there's a beauty contest going on, and a mysterious masquerade person just came up and judged the cars, and now a robot that sounds a lot like Blackbeard is going to judge the beauty portion of it. Uh, so let's go. Go on then, robot beauty judge. Feast your eyes on this. My swimsuited form is beauty, the manifestation of Venus herself. This is how I look even without doing anything special. It is merely the glorious radiance inherent to me. Roses. Hmm. A professional truly dedicated to her job will naturally shine with her inner beauty. Furthermore, I use Merlin's What's It to include a system in our vehicle that exudes floral fragrances. This matches ours. <laughs> this is really silly. Hmm. I can't. I can't. Oh, I'm trying to figure out what's a good Blackbeard voice. Hmm. I can't say I see much difference from usual. I mean, it's good and all, but I'm not seeing anything surprising here. Nothing I couldn't already imagine. I guess I'd say you're both decently cute. What, have you lost your mind? How could you see this as less anything less than perfection itself? Beauty, huh? I do want to believe that I, as a pharaoh, am the incarnation of Horus, and I am tr already truly beautiful with my own merits. But in order to win this battle, I'll need to go further. Do you have something in mind? Of course, in fact, it's something with, with which you should already be familiar. A stark, minimalist structure that includes only what is necessary and no more. A smooth form that practically begs to be touched. Eyes to pierce your very soul. Yes, this is the form that unites all those aspects. The true face of beauty. What's more, the streamlined form is inherently aerodynamic, which will give us yet another boost to our speed. A perfect two-bird and one-stone plan. Behold, even as I speak, we are quickly... It seems we are quickly slowing down. Why? I don't understand. You actually have to ask? How could it not be obvious? This is no good, no good. Exposure may not be the end-all be-all, but it's still one of the best weapons any beauty contestant can have. Here you are, throwing it away. Don't show yourself again. It's just slowly trying to get a slow. It's just strong, bad. <laughs> I'm trying not to. Don't show your... I don't remember what the fuck Blackbeard voice would sound. Yar, don't show yourself again until you've got a much more risque outfit. Even our normal clothing shows off more skin than that sad excuse for a swimsuit. Ah, you strike such a low blow. Yar, I could have conceivably given you a few points if you were at least wearing a bikini. Now he's kind of like Mr. Krabs. Oh, but you don't even... Oh, but that doesn't mean you should try to take shortcuts with a little wardrobe malfunction. It's no use seeing the nip itself with the idea that we might get a little nip slip is that more tantalizing. That dream, that dream for an uncertain future is what I wish to award beauty points to. This voice hurt me voice, and yet I could also end up easily giving something... Easily giving full points for a nip slip where the slipper is profoundly embarrassed about it. Truly, the adult world doesn't play fair. Incidentally, there's another reason why I might be giving points for the bikini. Namely, that I can now create polka dots in my mind's eye, thanks to intensive training. Yes, I know how god-tier that sounds. God, you suck so much, Blackbeard. 
I don't know what you're talking about, but I do know that there's something supremely creepy about it. About you. I'm used to dealing with the frigid temperatures of the underworld, and you still send shivers up my spine. Mm, this team is hopeless. Completely hopeless. Go on, get out of here. Open the canopy. Now that all eyes are upon us, this is our chance. I'll use this watery stage to put on a fiery performance. Oh, but before I do that, I better change into my stage outfit. I've decided to give her some kind of weird southern voice. Don't let the wind pressure blow you away, Demon King of the Sixth Heaven. But if you do get blown away, make sure you fall onto at least one saber and take them with you. I was about to do Blackbeard's voice. I don't remember your voice anymore. <laughs> Very well, but keep in mind that you would be the closest target in that case. Anyway, now that I'm done changing. I said, boy, open the canopy. The new campaign is about to begin. I'm now doing Foghorn Leghorn from... Heh, <laughs> what a lovely river. I say, what a lovely river breeze. Now behold the rocking swimsuit figure of the Demon King of the Sixth Heaven and the waves. Nobunaga in the house. I say, I say, I'm showing off plenty of skin and working up a healthy sweat, right? You can take your eyes off me, right? This is a Nobu Wapi Wapi Wasabiness at work. I can't say your gear for the bleach and shamelessness. You got uh, such a healthy attitude that it's really not hitting the most strike zone, you know? You're more of a badass than babelicious. I hate to be saying this. I think I would have preferred Okita or Cha Cha instead of Change, please. Uh, I say, I say, I don't think this guy even knows what Wabasaba is. Thank God you're gone, because I can't do... Um, I don't get it. How do we go fast here? I'm afraid that such quandaries lacking clear parameters have never been my forte. This is no exception. Ha <laughs> ha, leave this to me. We may both be skilled mathematicians, but as an innately approachable academic who is also popular amongst middle-aged women... I am perfectly suited to understanding how this demographic feels about. Never mind that, Papa. Just do it. At once, little lady. First, we make a little tweak to your spirit origin here. Don't worry, honey. It's all right. Just leave everything to Papa. Now then, Mr. Babbage, go ahead and open up so everyone can see her. Feel free to reduce your speed temporarily if you must. Understood. How's this? All right, we're good to go. Stand up, darling daughter. This is still probably one of the craziest outfits anyone's ever been given, by the way. Hmm? What, what, what the heck? This is new, very new. Yeah, I always thought Ren had potential, but since she's a berserker and all, I was afraid of getting too close. But then she became more approachable as a saber, and now she's wearing bandages for a bra. Its shoddy craftsmanship offers no protection whatsoever and is inherently risque and risky, but I can't help but love the sheer helplessness of this outfit. All this to say, all of my yes. If I had flipped my yes-no poilo on this subject, I would land with a resounding yes. Yeah, <laughs> at last. My restraining order has been lifted. I'm coming for you, Fran Fran. Rats, now that I've judged her to be... <laughs> Rats, now that I've judged her to be boy, she's moving so fast I can't catch up. So fast, hooray. Fortunately for you, I admit that our speed has improved. If it hadn't, I would have thrown you headfirst into a walking pile of scrap metal. Just look at what you've reduced Victor's girl to. It's just a swimsuit, remember? It's, it's cute. She seems to be happy with it, and as you said, our speed has improved. I don't think I've done anything to apologize for. Stop, no fighting. Come on, let's go. Understood? Yeah, okay. Beauty, huh? Of course, I know that our vehicle can travel over water, too. But I don't know how else to go about this. Hmm, traveling over water, eh? Don't tell me you're still struggling, you great hairy buffoon. As a true genius, I already arrived at the answer from the words alone. No, a true genius is one who immediately presents the answer without beating around the bush. In that case, the answer is at a subjective beauty evaluation. 
I said that wrong, but it's okay, it fits his character. Then allow me to be a true, true genius and simplify the identity of the answer clearly. In that sense, the logical thing to do here is to play to the judge's tastes. Would you have to stop speaking in turn like that? It makes you impossible to understand. What exactly do we need to do? Could we ask you to change your model for a short while? I can understand how you might be reluctant to do so. But the truth is, this is the answer. What's more, we already know how good it is thanks to last year. Hmm? Is this what you're talking about? I think this is what I wore last year. Yeah. Now that's what I'm talking about killing me now. My excitement has officially peaked. I applaud your skillful efforts in pinpointing my precise taste. You have truly outdone yourself. Che, I could have made a killing with geniuses like you on my ship. That's right, this swimsuit is so exciting that it even brings out my inner pirate. This is nothing less than Pratonic ideal. I know I stressed the importance of exposure earlier, but this is the exception to the rule. Too cliche, too ordinary, saw it coming a mile away, everyone agrees these are the best parts. That's why I'm proud to stand up and say this loud. I've done it before and I'll say it again. School swimsuits, best swimsuits. God, I need to get a fucking drink. This stupid ass pirate voice is fucking killing me. <clears throat> Specifically, the way it's navy blue turns even darker and sticks to the stain when it gets wet. Truly the mark of high society, though I am open to alternate views on the subject. Uh, <laughs> I'm getting goosebumps. If I'd been on track, I might have run him over. Easy there, Helena. Keep your cool and you can let the speed boost go to waste now. You two have a lot to answer for later. For now, though, we need to focus on the race. Let's go. Oh my, telling young women to take off their clothes, expose themselves, nip slips? I will not stand for it, I forbid it. He may be a metal demon trying to tempt people off the path of decency that I pledge to defend. The one who kept interrupting the Buddha as he was trying to meditate, huh? That's a seriously bad dude. If this robot is being possessed by some kind of wicked spirit, then we may have to do something about it. Let's teach it a lesson it won't soon forget. Yeah, right, don't look at me like that, you two are scaring me. You're both really pretty and all, but bigger isn't always bad. I fully support your level exposure, though. Okay, now that you slow down, it's looking to take advantage of this chance. But in this chance, yeah, that's more friend. Huh? Oh, you're approaching me. Wait, why? Yeah, this is the part where he gets his ass kicked, thankfully. You got a lot of nerve. So lack of exposure is no longer a problem all of a sudden. Double standards much? Wait, wait, have you forgotten? I'm just a robot that's been programmed to be beauty judge. Killing at me or hitting me won't solve any. Nonetheless, as women who have had our beauty dis dissed, we have every right to pound the circuits out of you. Prepare yourself. No, it's true. He deserves this ass whooping that he's about to get. Mmm. Mmm, mmm, mmm. Gonna beat up the robot man. Ooh, boy. If you're still around here, by the way, you should totally leave a like, because, God, that... <clears throat> I'm not joking when I said that killed my voice. Oh, man. No? This one. Cookie. Beat up them crabs, mama. You know what's the crazy? No, no, no. Let me focus on this fight for now. Thankfully, it's not too hard. All the hard part of this boss, boss of this um thing, comes in the challenge quest later. So I don't have to worry about um, too many hard fights for me, at least. The final boss of um, I guess this specific event. If you want to call them that. You know the one. The one that ends the event where you get um, the unit. Um, don't want to spoil it for new people. But he's pretty tough from what I remember. He's actually very annoying. Mr. B. Can I 
Okay, let's see. Uh, we are going to... If I can, I want Mama to beat him, but we'll see if we can get there. That should be enough for the first, um... Bar, I think it should be anyway. Get him, nursery rhyme. Fuck him up. Got him. <laughs> Unfortunately, I did not get him fully, so he's gonna survive this. Hmm. Time to break bar. Then on my turn, I'll finish him off with Mama. Marvelous exploits! That's Bunyan, not her. Knew it! This piece of shit. Look at him! Alright, Mama. You're gonna have to kick this man's ass straight out of here. Activating everything. There's gonna be a 100% ass whooping coming up right here. Beat him up, 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 beat him up. Why'd she remove her clothes? <laughs> I'm not I'm not arguing about it. Whatever. All right, and that's the video for today, everyone. I hope you liked that one. I only did the first, the second part of the beauty contest, but I literally cannot continue. Not with Blackbeard. No, there's more. I knew it. He was in sight all along. We all knew it all along. Okay, now it's really the end. All right, everyone. Until next time, I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace out.